Dear colleagues and members, I greet you in the name of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Some of you may remember that from 1910 to 1993, the Ascension Day was a public holiday in South Africa. It is no longer held as a public holiday, but we as the leaders of the Apostolic Faith Mission would like to urge our pastors and our members to observe the Ascension Day as one of those days that are important in the Christian calendar. The duration of such observance does not need to be the whole day. It may be an hour where we pause and reflect on the significance of the Ascension Day. Now, today is the 13th of May, 2021, and it is the Ascension Day. But as from tomorrow, the 14th of May, until the 22nd of May, we will be observing what is known as the Pentecost week. It is a nine-day week in which we are pausing to think about the 120 waiting for the promise of the Father in the upper room. Of course, that was fulfilled on the 10th day. And that 10th day is known as the Pentecostal Sunday. The Pentecostal Sunday this year in 2021 will be celebrated on the 23rd of May. I'm giving you these days so that you are prepared. So today I would like to speak to you about the significance of the ascension of Jesus Christ for the Christian community. And I now invite you to read together with me from three portions of scriptures in the New Testament. The first one is Mark chapter 16 from verse 19 to verse number 20. We will read from the New Revised Standard Version, where we read, So then the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right hand of God. And they went out and proclaimed the good news everywhere, while the Lord wept with them and confirmed the message by the signs that accompanied it. The second scripture is found in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 24. We will read from verse 50 to verse number 53. Again, I will be reading from the New Revised Standard Version, where we read, Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. The third scripture that we will read is found in Acts chapter 1. We will be reading from verse 9 to verse number 11. Again, we're reading from the New Revised Standard Version, where we read, When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up 
and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. The text that we have read from the Gospel of Mark and the Gospel of Luke as well as Acts chapter 1 are giving us a context of this day. It was after 40 days post his resurrection that Jesus ascended back into heaven. Although the particular spot from which he ascended to heaven is not distinctly stated, it would appear from Acts that it was Mount Olives. Now, Mount Olives is about half a mile walk when you come from Jerusalem. Now, the ascension of the Lord was actually a final episode of uh, his period of incarnation. He had now completed what he came to do. It was now the time for him to return to God his Father. It must have been a very tense moment. However, what we read in the Gospel of Luke is that uh, after Jesus had uh, said the final words to his disciples, when he was taken up, the disciples worshipped him and returned to Jerusalem with great joy. We also read from the Gospel of Mark that uh, after the ascension of the Lord Jesus, the disciples went out and proclaimed the good news everywhere. And the Lord wept with them, confirming the message with signs. However, it is important that uh, we begin to reflect about the significance of the ascension of the Lord Jesus. I would like to mention a few key issues that should form pillars of our reflection today. The first one is victory. The ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ was a significant victory having completed what he came to do. That is why we need to celebrate it. For us to be able to understand the aspect of victory, I invite you to read with me from the book of Psalms, Psalms 110. I would like us to read verse 1. In the New Living Translation, the Lord said to my Lord, Sit in honor at my right hand until I humble your enemies, making them 
a footstool under your feet. Now, Jesus was ascended into heaven and he sat at the right hand of God, his Father, the hand of honor, the hand of power. And the psalmist looking into the future of this day talks about sitting at the right hand until all the enemies have been brought under the feet. Now, obviously, as Jesus is ascending into heaven, there are some victories that have already been made. Jesus has already conquered death. Death could not keep him. That is why after three days, he rose victorious from death. Now death has got no power over him. And the other one, Jesus on the cross shed his precious blood. That precious blood that washes away your sin and my sin. So that sin would not have power on those that have been covered by the blood of Jesus. But we know that uh, the devil must still be conquered. The demonic forces must still be completely put under the feet of the Lord Jesus. But obviously, when Jesus ascends back to his Father, I imagine that his ascension was an ascension of Jesus standing like you would see the Apollos of the, 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 the Americans when they send the astronauts, when they shoot into the space. That as Jesus was shooting into the space, he went to the right hand of his father and even at that position, the devil was under his feet. The demonic forces were under his feet. However, they have not been completely silenced. Although they feel the authority of the Lord Jesus, they are still screaming, they are still making a lot of noise. So the ascension of the Lord was also signaling the fact that our Lord will eventually conquer and obliterate the devil and all the demonic forces. So today, as we celebrate the ascension of our Lord, we are celebrating the victory of our Lord Jesus. The second thing I want to mention regarding the significance of the ascension of our Lord Jesus is his exaltation. This day is about the exaltation of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. At the crucifixion, when he was mocked, and when the crown of thorns were placed on his head, Jesus was being humiliated. But now, as 
he ascends back to his father, he is being exalted. This is what we read in 1 Peter 3, verse 22. Again, in the New Living Translation, we read, Now Christ has gone to heaven. He is seated in the place of honor next to God. And all the angels and authorities and powers are bowing before him. So today, we are celebrating because Jesus was exalted when he ascended to the place of honor next to his father. He was exalted to a high position where all the angels and authorities and powers are bowing before him. The ascension proclaims the Lordship of Christ. So today we are celebrating the exaltation of Jesus. Paul in Philippians 2 verse 9 to verse number 11. Philippians 2 verse 9 to verse number 11. We will read that again from the New Living Translation, where we read, Because of this, God raised him up to the heights of heaven and gave him a name that is above every other name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow in heaven and on earth, and under the earth and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father. So ascension is a time of celebrating the exaltation of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I urge you today, exalt him as the Lord of Lords and as the King of Kings. Thirdly, ascension is significant to the Christian community because the ascension of our Lord Jesus is or was an imperative for the coming of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit would not come until Jesus had gone back to his Father. So the ascension was like a change of command or a change of God. When that happened, it is when the previous God moves out, handing over the responsibility to the succeeding God. Now, Jesus was moving out to the Father and handing over to the Holy Spirit, our Comforter, our Counselor, and our Advocate. Yes, it was necessary for him to go back to his father. This we read in John 16, verse number 7. John 16, verse number 7. I'm going to read it in the New King James Version, where we read, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the helper will not come to you. But if I depart, I will send him to you. Yes, the ascension 
is significant because it was an imperative for the coming of the Holy Spirit. Fourthly, the significance of the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ is because it gives us a glimpse of his second coming. It is an event that gave a glimpse of how Jesus would come back. There are many who teach that the Lord has already come back in a spiritual form. Others want us to believe that the second coming will be something mystic. However, we have read in Acts chapter 1, verse 10 and 11, the following, which will also be from the New Revised Standard Version. While he was going and they were gazing up toward heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up toward heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. He will come in the same way as you saw him being taken into heaven. These words are an expression of how Jesus would come back. They give us a glimpse of his second coming. Therefore today, we know we are expecting him to come back. Finally, this day when Jesus ascended to heaven is significant in that it is a day that released the gifts of the Spirit, the ministries, even to the church. When we read about the ministries, particularly when we read in Ephesians about the equipping ministries, in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 8, in the New Living Translation, it says, that is why the scriptures say, when he ascended to the highest, he led a crowd of captives and gave gifts to his people. When Paul mentioned these words, he was, of course, quoting from Psalm 68, verse 18, where God is pictured as a conqueror, a victorious conqueror. In Ephesians 4, verse 8, it says, when he ascended to the heights, he did two things. He led a crowd of captives, captive, but he also gave gifts to his people. We're not going to focus on those that are taken captive, but the ascension of the Lord Jesus Christ made even the equipping ministry a possibility. The Jesus who ascended into his Father is the one that gave some to be the apostle. He is the one that gave others to be the evangelist. He is the one that gave others to be prophets, teachers, and shepherds. As a matter of fact, you can look at it this way. As Jesus was parachuted into heaven, 
he fragmented these ministries to his church. When we speak about these ministries, it is actually Christ the Apostle, Christ the Prophet, Christ the Evangelist, Christ the Teacher and the Shepherd. All of them were embodied in Jesus Christ. But as Jesus went back, he made the equipping ministries possible to the church. As I conclude, let me just recap the significance of this day. Today we are celebrating the victory of our Lord Jesus. Today we are celebrating the exaltation of our Lord Jesus Christ. But today, we also know that his ascension was an imperative for the coming of the Holy Spirit. And we are grateful today because the ascension gave us a glimpse of his second coming. And we are also grateful that because he has ascended, he has also released these ministries so that his church would be equipped. Let us take courage that the ascension of Jesus Christ is significant. And may the good Lord keep you strong. May this ascension day that happens in the midst of a pandemic that has caused so many lives and livelihood give you hope that Jesus is victorious, not only over the evil forces, but Jesus will also be victorious over this pandemic because he's exalted, because he, is, he has allowed the Holy Spirit to come and he is with us through the Holy Spirit. And may this day give you hope. May this day give you strength as we celebrate the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the good Lord bless and keep you. Amen.